hello friends so today we going to see how to find mood okay again we going to find mood for a individual series discrete series and the continuous series okay so the mood is the most common item of a series most the mode is a value which occur the greatest number of frequency in the series for example uh, there are two examples over here so for the first uh, series you have values are like 40 44 57 58 and 48 as you can able to see that each number is unique it occurs only one time so you can see that it there is no mode okay in the series okay now the next example in that you have a 45, 55, 50, 45, 40, 55, 45, 45. Okay. So here as you can able to see that 45 occurs first, second and third, fourth. Your 45 occurs four times and your 55 occurs one, two. So your 55 occurs two times then your 50 occurs only one time and 40 occurs only one time so over here you can consider this 45 as what your mood okay if you have a case like your 55 again is more appearing for a suppose same number of time like 4 4 you can consider this series as a bimodal bimodal means what it is having a two modes so First, we're going to solve the example for your individual observation. So, we have a data for the 10 persons have and following income in rupees. So, the first person is having income of 850, second person is having 750, third person 600, fourth person 825, fifth person 850. Likewise, we have the data for the rest of the people. So, what we are going to do, we are going to write first unique values from the series. For example, for the, your first value is what? 850. So, we are going to write 850. How many times it occurs? For example, it occurs 1, 2, 3. So, your 850 occurs how many times? 3 times in the series. Then the next value is what? 450, sorry, 750. So, 750 is occurring only once. So, we are going to write frequency as a 1. Then you have a next value as what? 600. So we're going to write 600. Your 600 is occurring two times, one and two. So we're going to write two. 825 is the next number. So we're going to write how many times it occurs. So your 825 occurs only one time. Then this is already done. So the next value is what? 725. So the 725 occurs once. Four, uh, 640 occurs once. 530 occurs once so here it is clear you can observe clearly that 850 has the highest frequency so you can consider that 850 as what your mode okay this is for what your individual observation now we're going to see your mode for the discrete series okay so in your discrete series by saying the data we are not going to able to predict what will be the mood as as we are able to do in the individual series okay so for your discrete series we're going to prepare a grouping table and the analysis table to find your mood okay so the following steps are for your analysis table okay so for the steps are like first step is what prepare the grouping table for with the six column so you're going to draw the six column write the size of item in the margin so you can consider that as a seventh column at the start okay so in the first column what you're going to write you're going to write all the frequencies against the respective item fourth step is what in column two you're going to uh, you, the frequencies are grouped in twos means what you're going to add first frequency and the second next for the next uh, value you're going to add the third and fourth frequency for the next you're going to add fifth and sixth and so on okay so in column three you're going to uh, the frequencies are grouped into twos means what we're going to skip the first frequency and you're going to add the next frequency for example two plus three next as four plus five next seven six and plus seven and so on for the fourth column we're going to group the frequency in the threes 
okay now how you going to group the frequency into three means what one plus was first frequency plus second frequency third frequency next is what fourth fifth and sixth next seventh eight and ninth and so on okay step number seven in column five we are going to group the frequency in threes again okay but we are going to skip the first frequency so the frequencies you are going to add like two second frequency plus third frequency and the fourth frequency okay after that fifth six seven eight nine and tenth and so on so eighth step is what in column six you are going to group the frequency in the threes you are going to skip first two frequencies and going to add the next three frequencies okay so the next three frequencies are what third fourth and fifth then you're going to add six seventh eight and so on okay after uh, finding out all the frequency you're going to circle uh, you're going to bold letter you're going to write it by bold letter or you can circle the maximum frequency in each column okay in each column you're going to find out the maximum frequency and you're going to circle it after that you're going to uh, prepare what your analysis table okay <coughs> now how to find the mode for the discrete series this is what your example for your discrete series <coughs> This is the example for what your discrete series. You have a two column size and the frequency. So the sizes are like 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And the frequencies are like 10, 12, 15, 19, 28, 4, 3 and 2. <coughs> so sorry. So first what we are going to do, we are going to draw a grouping table. Okay, in grouping table as we seen in the steps, we are going to draw the 6 columns. So these are your 6 columns, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th and 5th and 6th. Okay, in a margin you are going to write what? The sizes. <coughs> so what we are going to write, in first column we are going to write all the frequencies as it is. Okay. So the sizes are written already. So you're going to write what? The frequencies like 10, 12, 15, 19, 20, 8, 4, 3 and 2. In the second column, what we're going to do? We're going to group the frequency into twos. Okay. What do you mean by that? This is your second column. We're going to group the frequency into twos. Means what? You're going to add first frequency and the second frequency. Means what? 10 plus 12, 22. Next, what? 3 into 4 sorry 3 into 4 means what 15 plus 19 is what 34 20 plus 8 as what 30 uh, 28 4 plus 3 as what 7 now only one frequency is remaining 2 okay so we are going to leave that frequency we are not going to add that frequency or we, go not, we are not going to write that frequency after that we are going to draw the third column okay in the third column again we are going to group the frequency in a 2's okay so for that we are going to skip the first frequency now skip the frequency means uh, we are going to leave the first frequency that is what 10 and we are going to add the next two frequencies means what <coughs> means what here yeah, 12 plus 15 19 plus 20 8 plus 4 3 plus 2 okay means 12 plus 15 it is 27 19 plus 20 it is 39 8 plus 4 it is 12 3 plus 2 it is 5 then we are going to write find out the fourth column ok <coughs> in the fourth column we are going to add the frequency into 3's ok so for in the into 3's means what we are going to add first 3 frequencies for example 10 12 15 that is what 37 19 28 that is what here uh, 47 and then 4, 3, 2, that is 9. In the fifth column, we are going to leave the first frequency. <coughs> we are going to leave the first frequency, that is what? 10. And we are going to add the next three frequencies. That is what? Your 12 plus 15 plus 19. The summation of these three frequencies is what? 60, oh, sorry, 46. 
then we are going to add next three frequencies that is 28 and 4 that the summation is what 32 okay and then we are going to add the next three so as you can see oh, we, there are only two frequencies remaining so we are not going to add these two frequency we are going to leave this frequency okay so after that what we are going to do again we are going to write find the value for what here <coughs> Sixth column. Okay, again for a sixth column, we're going to group the frequency into threes. It's just that we're going to leave these two frequency and next add next three frequencies. That is what 15 plus 19 plus 20. The summation is 54. 8 plus 4 plus 3. The summation is 15. Okay, and only two remaining means what we're going to leave that frequency. Okay, after finding out all the additions of the frequency, we're going to circle each highest frequency. So, the, in the first column, 20 is the highest frequency. So, we are going to circle it. Okay. In the second column, 34 is the highest. In third column, 39 is the highest. In the fourth column, 47 is the highest. In fifth column, 46 is the highest. And in the sixth column, 54 is the highest frequency. So, we are going to circle all that frequency. And we are going to use this frequency further for your analysis table. Okay, so after grouping table, what we are going to do, we are going to find the analysis table. So, this is your analysis table. <coughs> so, in analysis table, what we are going to do, this uh, we are going to write a column number. Okay, so the column number are like, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and the size of item. Okay, containing the maximum frequency. We uh, didn't write, uh, wrote all the size of items. We only the uh, we only uh, written the uh, size of item which is having the maximum frequencies are like 12, uh, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. Okay, so the in the first column what what was the your first uh, highest frequency that is 20. Okay, so the 20 is a <coughs> 20 is a in this first column 20 is the highest frequency right. So the 20 is the highest frequency of which size? 14. So, we are going to mark 1 against what? 14. Okay. Then, in the second column, this is your second column, right? <coughs> in the second column, which is the highest frequency? 34, right? So, the 34 is the uh, summation of which frequency? 15 and 19, which are the frequencies of what? 12 and 13. So, for the second column, what we are going to do? We are going to put 1, 1 against uh, 12 and 13. Okay. Then, in the third column, the highest frequency is what? 39. Okay. So, the 39 is the summation of 19 and 20, which is the frequency of 13 and 14. So, we are going to put 1, 1 against 13 and 14 for the third column. Then, for the fourth column, highest frequency is what? 47, which is the summation of 19, 20 and 8. Okay, which is the size of, uh, the size is, will be what? 13, 14 and 15. So, against 13, 14 and 15, we are going to put 1, 1, 1. Okay, after that, for the fifth column, the highest frequency is 64, which is the summation of 12, 15, 19. So, the size is like 11, 12 and 13. So, we are going to put 1, 1 against all the size of item. For the sixth column, the highest frequency is what? 54. So, the 54 is a summation of what? 15, 19 and 20. The size are what? 12, 13 and 14. So, we are going to put 1, 1, 1 against all the sizes like 12, 13 and 14. Now, after putting all the 1, <coughs> what we are going to do? We are going to add the 1. Okay. So, in 11, you have only 1, 1. Okay. In the 12 column, you have 1, 2, 3, 1. So, 3. In 13, you have 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, the 5 ones are there. Okay, 15 in 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 ones are there. In 15, you have only 1. So, the highest number is what? 5. So, your mode will be what? 13. Okay, the mode is what? 13. As this is the size of item repeats 5 times. 
this how you going to find mode for what your discrete series then we going to find the mode for your continuous series for mode for continuous series again we going to draw the grouping table as well as analysis table but after preparing your analysis table we going to apply this formula so your uh, mode is denoted by z <coughs> so the formula is is equals to l plus f1 minus f0 divided by 2f1 minus f0 minus f2 into i where z is what your mode L is what lower limit of the model class. F one is the frequency of a model class. F zero is the frequency presiding to the model class. F two is the frequency of the class succeeding the model class, and I is the class interval. Okay, so this is the uh, given data for your continuous series. Okay, so we have a size of item and a frequency. The classes are like zero to five, five to ten, ten to fifteen, fifteen to twenty, likewise. And we have a respective frequency, frequencies like twenty, twenty-four, twenty, thirty-two, twenty-eight, likewise. Okay, so first thing is what we're going to uh, prepare the grouping table. In grouping table, we're going to draw the six columns. Okay, in margin you going to write the size of item. Here your size of items are what classes. So you going to write zero, five, five to ten, ten to twelve, fifteen. 15 to 20 likewise okay in first column you're going to write frequency as it is like 20 24 32 28 20 16 20, likewise okay after that what you're going to do you're going to group the for the second column you're going to group the frequency in twos means what first frequency plus next frequency second frequency that is 20 plus 24 44 30 to uh, 28 60 20 to uh, 20 plus 16 plus is equals to what 36 34 plus 10 is what 44 only one frequency is remaining so we going to leave that frequency for the next column means what third column we going to skip the first frequency means what you going to skip the 20 so 24 plus 32 56 likewise you going to find the frequency for the fourth column we going to add the frequency into Threes means what? Twenty plus twenty-four plus thirty-two. So the summation is what? Sixty-four. Then next, uh, three, th three group of three that is th twenty-eight plus twenty plus sixteen that is sixty-four. Then thirty-four uh, plus ten plus eight fifty-two. Okay. For the fifth column, you're going to uh, skip the first frequency and add next three. Then for the sixth column, we're going to skip the two first two frequency and add the next three. Likewise, we're going to find the grouping table. After finding the values for the grouping table, you're going to write uh, write the analysis table. Again, you're going to write the analysis table that is the number of classes, and we we are oh, here we directly written the classes. Okay, now, so you going to uh, mark or you going to bold each highest value, right? So here the largest value is what thirty four. In the second column it is sixty. In third column six fifty six, seventy six, eighty four, and eighty. These are the maximum values from each column. Okay, so we going to Mark uh, the classes. Okay, so thirty-four, the thirty is there. So thirty to thirty-five is your class. So we're going to for the first column, this is your class. Okay, or you can put one over here. Okay, for the second column, which is the highest frequency, that is what sixty. Sixty is the addition of which frequency? Thirty-two plus twenty-eight. The classes are like ten to fifteen, fifteen to Twenty. Okay. <clears throat> so we are going to. This is your second column. We are going to mark these two classes. Okay. Likewise, you are going to find each maximum value and the classes. Okay. Then you are going to add the classes. For example, in this column, zero uh, uh, to five occurs only once. Five to ten occurs three times. Ten, uh, ten to fifteen occurs five times. Fifteen to twenty occurs three times. Twenty to twenty-five occurs one time, okay, and thirty and thirty-five occurs only one time over here, over here, okay. So the highest frequency uh, number is what five means what ten to fifteen is what 
in 10 to 15 year mode will lie okay now to find the mode we going to write apply the formula so this is your formula z is equals to l plus f1 minus f0 divided by 2 f1 minus f0 minus f2 into i okay so where l is what lower class limit of the modal class okay so your modal class is what 10 to 15 so 10 l value will be what 10 okay so <coughs> this is what your modal class right 10 to 15 is what your modal class so you, the frequency of 0 phi to 10 will be what your f0 10 to 15 will be f1 and 15 to 20 will be what your f2 means f0 is equals to what 24 f1 is equals to 32 and f2 is equals to what 28 okay so these are the values and i is equals to what phi means what 15 minus 10 it is what phi i is equals to what your class interval okay so we're going to put all the values into the formula after the calculation you will get one value that value is what 13.33 so that 13.33 is what your mode okay for a continuous series what we did first we find out what your grouping table after the grouping table we found out what analysis table okay in analysis table we got one class where your median will going to lie okay, mode sorry mode will going to lie okay so after that we apply the formula this is your formula okay then we're going to put all the values into the formula and you'll get what your mode value thank you